Archie Bart out deep and Rocket right, the, right at the rail. Next in multi mat from Here Comes Billy, an action packed affair. Professor Snitch, Star on Express, knocked up. Fab Special yeah, Time in 2969. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't know if I've ever seen you like this, Andrea Daly. You've, uh, the Daly team has won Melbourne Cups before, and he's your main man, Fab's Vegetable. Tell us a little bit about him. He's managed to find his way into a Melbourne Cup for you. Oh, I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry. Well, I'll tell you what. He's just an absolute champion. He really is. You, you've had some absolute champions compete in Melbourne Cups. My favourite race of all time, Fernando Bale versus Dinah Double One. I don't think we can use him in the same breath as that, but you can see that it means absolutely just as much. The world absolutely means the world. The other most proudest moment was when um, Lucy's Milo ran in the Melbourne Cup three years ago. Like, Yeah, they're just my boys. Oh, I'll let you go, Andrea. Well done. Go and give him a big cuddle. I tell you what, you can't say it doesn't mean anything to Team Daly. Andrea Daly, very, very animated, very, very happy. And how good is it to see a celebration like that going into the Melbourne Cup? He was last, this Greyhound, for the Dailies. And he was in all sorts of trouble as they swung down the back. Um, but the Dailies, who have been legends of the game for so long, were able to win another heat of a Melbourne Cup and they did it in spectacular fashion because you can't do that come from last and that's what Fab's Vegetable did and someone told me a good judge one once upon a time Jason Lincoln said just put a hundred dollars or ten dollars on all of the daily runners in heats of the Melbourne Cup. You'd need a lot of money to start off with because generally they've got a few but they haven't had as many tonight and I, I think it's just so beautiful to see I think a lot of uh, a lot of participants would be surprised to see uh, Andrea's response post that race, Andrea Daly, they, they've, they've quenelled a Melbourne Cup with Donna Double One and Fernando Bale, so they've been there, they've done that, and it was just beautiful to see that the sheer emotion of what making it through to a Melbourne Cup means, even for a trainer who's been there and done that, it, it was it was seriously beautiful to see, Mitch. And you're a, you're a, a big fan of the team, Daly. Oh, it? yeah, I've actually uh, worked down there, Jim, yeah. so I've uh, very close. I've known them since I was about six. I was an absolute menace to both Tom and George when I was younger, I'll tell you. Nothing's Austin, changed. But, uh, no, nothing has changed, and I'll tell you, uh, yeah, I'm as happy as they are for making the Melbourne Cup. But you see Andrea, she was bolting to go and grab the dog after it had finished. I've never seen her run so fast in my no. life. She was absolutely hightailing it. So I've never seen her talk that much emotion. either. Well, I, she couldn't speak. She was absolutely <laughs> in awe. That's what the Melbourne Cup does. Does. It gets people talking when they don't usually talk. Uh, and that's what Andrew Daly did for us tonight. And there she is with Fab's Vegetable getting the chocolates there in race number nine, heat number five of the Sportsbet Melbourne Cup. The Dream Chasers winner is coming up next here on Racing.com. This is uh, night three, and there is there he is. Look at that. Well, we He's more happy. happier than Andrea. You know, 10 grand oh, for a car. Jeez. This is a night of dreams. Dreams are coming true. Left, right, and centre. We'll be back with plenty more straight after this.